Hey guys, Arja Klein here, Average Picker. I figured uh, before I get too busy the rest of this week, oh, I grabbed the wrong tensioner. Um, that's all right. We'd get one more uh, challenge luck picked. So this one is by West Coast Picks. Um, and I forget, it's called The Stranger, I think. The Stranger or The Strangler? I think it's The Stranger. Don't think it's, uh, maybe it's a strangling stranger. Let's see if we can get it here. So for as rough as it looks, it's kind of subtle. Oh, a lot of little serrations back there, bumping around. Um, oh, oh, there we go. Oh, no. Okay. Oh, there's the pin. Did a lot of little sets in the back and then we came up and hit three and three seems to have done the trick of sending us on our way. Oh, that was a nasty lift and I felt to get all squishy, which means we probably overset something. Maybe it'll drop back down. Hmm. Is that? Oh, no. Pins in the back. Um, dropping like crazy. This one was also sent to me from uh, Cherokee. I believe. Well, let's go the... It's two minutes one direction. Let's try going two minutes the other direction. Four is quite sticky. Uh, I see what you're doing. I think we're we got some Bill Bacardi bidding on this thing. Seem to have some dramatic ups and dramatic downs. thing's got to release in a minute. Feels like it's going to release any moment. Okay, that's quite picked. One is up. Three. Ooh, three could be over. Let's do one more quick reset. I think we got this locks number now. There we go, we're in. Eh, not too bad. Let's get this clamp out of the way. <coughs> um, key, yeah, here we go. So yeah, it's The Stranger by West Coast Picks and uh, well, not quite Bill Bacardi pinning, but we've got some pretty big ups and pretty big downs in there.
<laughs> Got the uh, there's that little bit of metal in the back, and sometimes that catches, and you, it's like you get those free turns. You don't have to hold that back pin down. It's quite nice. Spring came out with it. This is one of those flat topped ones, but it doesn't look like it was a uh, hand filed flat or anything like that. Okay, let's see what we got. Five. Little serrated guy. Six, we've got a man, I feel like is there a date on this? <laughs> so, four is a spool, but yeah, these pins look like they've been around the block a few times. I wonder how long this lock's been floating around out there. Two is a little serrated element. And one we've got, yeah, it's that size that's not quite a serration, um, but a little too tiny for a spool. Let's see what we've got upstairs. Regular, regular, and we've got threading in chambers three and chambers five. And uh, the threading looks really nice, actually. <clears throat> Looks like it's held up very well. Someone else has already marked the front of this lock for us. So that's not always nice. Oh, cool. We've got um, those asymmetric cuts. Oh, and another one. I to wonder if I've picked this one before. I feel like I picked one by uh, West Coast Picks. That was all notched like this. I'll have to go back and check my videos. I wonder if we... So yeah, these are all asymmetric pins, um, which are always pretty cool. Um, you never know what you're gonna get out of them. Uh, sometimes these can be really tough. And sometimes uh, those bits can bite in there, or cannot bite in there, I guess, and it can be really easy sometimes. <clears throat> so let's flip the camera around though and take a look at these guys. Okay, so here we go. We can see across the bottom, um, just a little serrated guy. Let's, what if we zoomed in? Little serrated guy, got a spool there in four. Another little, he's kind of a deep serration and a partial, like just a shallow serration there in three. Just our good classic serration on two. And here's the one. Yeah, he's, that's, I would say that's a spool. Spoolish. It's not quite as deep as what you'd expect. But upstairs, we've got those asymmetric pins. These really nice gouges kind of cut out of them. So, in any doubt, see, gouges are legit pins. <laughs> it almost looks like a little, there's a little face for us, right? A little totem pole face. I have to go back and check my videos. I feel like I have run across this lock possibly before. Either that or uh, these things have been just enjoyed a moment of popularity pin wise. <clears throat> Very cool though. I really like these pins. From a challenge lock perspective, you're t you are taking a chance with them. I mean, you kind of take a chance with any pin, but um, if they hit just right, like I said, they just pick very quickly and easily. So you're, you're kind of gambling if, uh, if you're trying to make a challenge lock to actually completely throw somebody. 
but it also makes these locks incredibly fun <clears throat> um, and very repickable because you can give them a shake and who knows what you'll get as these pins rotate and play around in there. Yeah, um, do I have a little thing? It'd be cool to see. Oh, no, I don't. I'll take a look at where they sit at rest. I think we've got a few minutes. So here we go with them in their at rest state and uh, West Coast picks, of course. Awesome picker and builder, and you can see he did what he was doing. <laughs> He's got all those bits, at least at the shear line. So nothing is sitting too crazy up high. I mean, that's probably the highest one, but if you look at how deep the cuts on that go, and he's got that fully submerged. That's not a big deal. So two's about the only one that's not totally sunk, um, but it's just got the cuts up high, so he's still got them down in there. I flip this one. Should I flip it? Do I dare? <laughs> yeah, look at that. Now yeah, it just has that one that sits outside of it. So yeah, very cool lock. I do need to go back and check though. I picked a few of these. The first time I came across asymmetric pins was um, a fast Charlie lock. Um, but then I ran into them a few more times. Um, not something you see a whole lot of, though, and not something you see a whole lot of where they do all of them like that. Um, so, yeah, there we go. Um, thanks, Cherokee, for sending the lock, and thank you, West Coast Picks, for pinning up the stranger. So, all right, guys. Um, got some new ideas for the challenge lock thing. Starry Lock, you inspired me. You made a comment, and I realized... You're right. I shouldn't be trying to make um, spools out of pins with a rock. I should be trying to just make the pins um, out of common items. That was probably the way to go, not whatever foolishness I took on. So we will be visiting that next, uh, well, maybe Sunday, but probably next Tuesday or Wednesday. So anyway, there we go, guys. Um, you have a good night.